Hi, my name is Sylvie. I am a certified health coach and fitness trainer. I help you achieve flexibility of the body, the metabolism, and the mindset using tools like stretching, fasting, and mindfulness. Today's video is about the lumen versus any ketone meter and how to hack your metabolism using those devices. So I'm going to go through how each of those devices work and then we'll go through point by point comparing the lumen and a ketone meter so you really have an excellent idea of what each device has to offer. Let's start with the lumen. I had never heard of the lumen until just recently and when I saw an ad on YouTube I figured I better educate myself because they claim that you can hack your metabolism and figure out if you're in ketosis using this device. It's all the stuff I talk about to induce metabolic flexibility, but I had never heard of it. And so I wanted to look into it. And I thought it would be super helpful to educate you, my viewers as well. So how does the lumen work? The lumen doesn't measure your ketones. It measures your CO2 when you exhale into a handheld device. When your body is using ketones for energy, you're not producing as much CO2. And so that's what the lumen measures. It measures how much CO2 you are exhaling and that'll help determine if you are in ketosis or how much ketones you're using versus glucose because it's often a combination of both. So it has certain levels and it helps you determine that. And before we go into the pros and the cons of the lumen, I want to quickly mention other breath sensors and how they work because they're not like the lumen. Other breath sensors measure the acetone in your breath. And acetone is a type of ketone body. So they actually measure ketone bodies, not the lumen. There are three types of ketone bodies, acetone, acetoacetate, and beta-hydroxybutyrate. And you can learn more about these types in this excellent in-depth article entitled Testing for Ketosis, the difference between blood, breath, and urine. But the bottom line is that acetone, which is measured through those breath sensors, is more like a waste product rather than the actual usable form of ketone bodies. 70% of the ketone bodies that will actually become a source of energy are made from beta-hydroxybutyrate. And that's the form that you will measure using a ketone meter or ketone monitor. Now let's move on and talk about the pros of the lumen. The lumen functions with a very in-depth app and this app will require you to input all kinds of information about your sleep, about the food that you've been eating. So it's not just measuring the CO2 in your breath. And so using that information, it creates a personalized meal plan with recipes. It'll tell you what macros you'll need to be following. And as I mentioned, you'll, it'll track your sleep, which is critical for fat burning. It'll also record your progress and you get to pick between three different tracks depending on your health goals. So it could be metabolic health, fitness performance, or healthy weight loss. And then after about two weeks, it'll start tracking your metabolic flexibility. So in the end, it serves as a great motivational and educational tool. Now let's go over the cons. Depending on your perspective, you may enjoy tracking all your health markers using the app, or you may find it to be a pain. So I don't know if the app in itself should be a pro or a con, it depends on your perspective. But definitely a one drawback is that it requires a stable internet connection to function and some reviewers mentioned that it takes a while to load. It's expensive. It's at least $240 for the upfront investment and then six months later you have to start paying a monthly fee of $29. Also it offers limited real life action points as it will mostly recommend to limit your carb intake if you if you don't get into that fat burning mode enough will just 
cut your carbs. And also some reviewers said that sometimes the results don't add up and so it made them question a little bit how reliable the device was. There is a list of reason in the app that explain why sometimes the results can be funky and I mean I'm sure that can happen but it also makes you wonder a little bit. Okay now time to move on to ketone meters. Let's talk about how ketone meters work and the pros and cons of using a ketone meter to hack your metabolism and track whether you are in ketosis or whether you're burning glucose for energy. Now as I mentioned already ketone meters measure actual ketones in your blood and so it measures how much ketone bodies your body is producing. It is measuring a very stable and usable ketone body. This ketone body is readily transported to your cells and can be used for fuel. It represents approximately 70% of the available ketone energy in your body. So let's go over the pros of using a ketone meter. Well, number one, it measures the most usable form of ketone body in your blood, which represents solid and reliable data. It's affordable. You can get a starter kit. Well, I'm sure it varies from brand to brand, but for with the Keto Mojo, for example, you can get a starter kit for $50 and then you just have to buy more strips if you need more strips later. You can know with confidence what ketosis level you are at. For example, I typically recommend a level of 1.0 to 1.5 to, for optimal weight loss ketosis. It's a simple, easily achievable goal to help you on your health journey. And then as far as your action points, you'll, yeah, you can reduce your carb intake, but you can also just increase your fasting window. Since you know exactly how much ketones your body is producing, you can choose to fast longer and wait until you're deeper in ketosis. So your options are not limited to just cutting carbs out of your diet. And then it does come with an app that you don't have to use. You can use it to record your ketone measurements, but it's a very simple app. You don't have to record anything else if you don't want to. Another pro I find is that having that number of ketone bodies can be a motivator to fast longer if you need to. Um, just to see what happens. You're curious and you want to see what's going to happen if you fast a little bit longer. So it's also a motivational tool. Now the cons of using a ketone meter. Well, I couldn't think of very many cons, but I did think of a few. It's not 100% accurate. So it's accurate within a 10% range. And sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating if you measure more than once and you find these varying results. It can become a little bit frustrating. Also, it can be a bit hard for some people to get enough blood and to prick themselves to get that blood. Another thing is that occasionally you may have failed results and waste ketone strips. Now let's just go over a comparison of the lumen versus a ketone meter. You have a pretty good understanding of the basics, how they work, the pros and cons of each, but just a brief overview here to finalize this video. The lumen tracks your CO2 not ketone bodies. It's an investment of at least $249. It hacks your metabolism mainly using carb intake recommendations. It offers an in-depth app with meal plans and recipes. It tracks your sleep and other health markers. And it requires a stable internet connection to function. The ketone meter tracks actual ketone bodies in your blood. It's an investment of at least $50. It allows you to adjust your fasting window and or your carb consumption. It comes with a simple app that you do not need to use to measure your ketones, which means that you can use a device without an internet connection. So that's pretty much it for this comparison between the Lumen and a ketone meter. 
I myself, ever since I started fasting, I use the Keto Mojo. I love it, it's been working great. I don't use it much anymore. I find that it's a super helpful tool when you get started to start getting to know your body, to start getting to know that ketosis level where you feel the metabolic switch. But once you know it and once you can feel it, you don't really need to measure your ketones as frequently and I rarely measure my ketones anymore. Now that I have achieved optimal weight loss ketosis, I mean, once in a while, I might measure my ketones if I do a 24 hour fast just to reset. Otherwise, I rarely ever use it anymore. Um, but definitely, that's my preference. Uh, I've never tried the Lumen, but from what I've learned, I don't think I wanna try it. However, after going through this information, you may find that it's something that you could use that you would find helpful to motivate you. And if you enjoy tracking your health markers, you enjoy having that type of tool and accountability, that may be an option to consider. I hope you found this comparison video helpful and thank you for watching.